Hey, this is Steven from Legit PC, and uh, today we're going to be looking at the, the GIMPS Prime 95 test. And we're going to be mainly looking at uh, the stress test, which is what you could use to run as long as you want, check your overclocking, make sure your system's stable, things like that. So if you're, if you're in a really high overclock, or if you want to push your PC and you have some liquid cooling system and you're not sure if you're if it's going to throw an error or not or if it's going to be compatible with your, your other components in that particular clock speed this would be what you would use and you would run it for you know let's say like a 24 hour run of um, all day long checking the stability and if it doesn't throw any errors then I would just run with that and chances of your computer stumbling and falling on that high of an overclock brings the possibility way down so uh, when you bring up Prime 95, you'll have this uh, little window here, and uh, I'm just going to do blend to test some of everything, lots of RAM tested, and I have a four thread processor, so I'm going to test uh, four threads, and I'm going to leave everything else out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, hit OK, and it's going to start workers here, and uh, down here, where's worker number two? Oh, there it is. Okay, so as you can see, work, uh, worker number one, worker number two, worker number three, worker number four, that's my four threads. And uh, it tells you how, how, uh, how long it's going and how many tests has gone through up there at, at the top here. It says test one. And it tells you the, the algorithm that they're using to find the prime numbers. And uh, it'll tell you when it goes through each test. So you basically... You could use it as a benchmark, or you could use it as a uh, stress test for an all-day test on your new overclock. So basically, if you want to use it as a benchmark, you just pick as long as you want, and uh, then you could just stop it. Or there's also another benchmarking option under here, when you could go here and hit benchmark. And I found that that kind of just does one. That kind of just does one core, which is I've only found how to do it with one core, so. Um, there's probably other ways to do it and whatnot. As you see, it's gone to test two. I would personally probably use this, but on their site, on the GIMP site, they have all of the all the processors that have been benchmarked all labeled out and uh, how they stack up and things like that while doing this type of test. And as you see, some as you see, some threads are faster than others. This one's on test three. This one's on test three. This one's on test three. But my first thread's still on test two, and it's probably about to finish it, it pretty quick. There you go. It's finished. And uh, so you can see that each thread works uh, at different clock speeds, and on, on on processors they're not they're not perfect. You know they have different clock speeds and they vary between each thread. So you can see how one would finish quicker than the other one. So this is a great um, this is a great utility if you're into uh, let's say rendering or something that takes a long amount of time or you have long game sessions or you're encoding long videos or something like that or you're encoding all night you definitely don't want your computer to crash randomly when you're not watching it and when you're in, in the middle of a big project whether it's for work or for home or for whatever so what you would do is you would go through Pine 95 here and, and and see if it would throw any errors at you by running it all night and then if it doesn't throw any errors, number one, you could either go higher, you could overclock it higher until it fails, and then downclock it to one that you know is good, or you could just stay with that. But of, of course, you'd probably go with the one where you just keep overclocking till it fails, and then you downclock it, which is, uh, yeah, probably the best idea. But as you see here, it goes through all the tests, and then when you go to uh, test here and hit stop, uh, you, you say stop all workers, and then it tells you... Uh, how long you ran it and how many errors and warnings you have and then it will also save it in uh, the, the zip file that you download from their site and uh, now I'm just going to show you uh, the benchmark option so you just hit benchmark here and like I said for whatever reason I could only find out how to do it on I can only figure out how to do it on one thread I don't know how to do it on all the threads. I can only do it on the first thread, which there might be an option to might be an option to change that somewhere in here. 
there's a 24 hour run and things like that and you know test a specific exponent prime that you want to uh, check and things like that but yeah so this is basically the just the benchmark and it tells you how long it goes through each iteration and uh, and then you know you could compare it to others or if you have multiple machines and multiple machines with different hardware let's say you're doing videos or whatever or if you're just building machines for friends or if you have a company that you're building custom machines or whatever uh, basically oh, it's, I guess it says using two threads but you could you could kinda of compare I guess it does go through all four threads just on this particular it just uses this window anyways so you could use this uh, and um, compare it to GIMP, the processors on GIMP's site, or on the other processors that processors that you build, or someone else's build, or whatever one of your friends builds. But uh, it's a great it's great software. I mean, it's been around for a long time, and a lot of people use it, and uh, it's a really good one. So this has been Steven from Legit PC, and this is the GIMP's Prime ninety five, and. Uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe for more like it, and thanks for watching.